Hello everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing really well. Today I come to you with a book titled The Heart of a Woman by Maya Angelou. So as you all know, I've made some, I've had some previous videos where I was talking about how much I absolutely love Maya Angelou and how she's been such a big inspiration in my life. And so today is International Women's Day, March 8th. And I really thought that this would be the perfect book to review on this day. And so March is also international, sorry, not international, March is also Women's History Month. And she is such a big part of the history. So, I mean, it, it just speaks for itself. I had to do this book. So this book is an autobiography and it takes you into her life as all of her previous books. So this one takes place and it begins in the 1950s. And so I loved how she, she talks about her, her activism because I really did not realize how much of an impact she had in the civil rights movement because she's also, in the book, she also talks about, you know, um, James Baldwin, Malcolm X, um, and yeah. <laughs> So that, that's something that I really loved. And so another main topic that I loved about this book is how she talks about switching careers and how, you know, and this helped me realize that life is not, just because you choose one career does not necessarily mean that that's a career that you need, to, you want to have for the rest of your life and that's okay. And it's also okay for people who want to, you know, just do one thing for the rest of their life, nothing wrong with that. But one thing that really helps me resonate, especially in this book, with Maya Angelou is how she is comfortable with her story. And she's also comfortable with showing that life is not always linear. And I believe I've mentioned this in her previous book. She's very honest in this book. She really, op she really opens herself up. And in her opening, her opening up, I, it really helped me be more comfortable with who I am. So in the book, uh, she also addresses her relationship with her son. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that because I want you to read it. <laughs> but her relationship with her son is so important to her and that relationship is also part of her many jobs. My biggest takeaway from this book is in the beginning where she's talking about how some of her insecurities as a writer and how in spite of those insecurities, she was still able to continue to do her work. So me, I, I like writing and there are times where I have stopped because I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not that great anyways. Maybe the story that I have to share has already been told, so what's the point? So when I read this book, I, I thought, wait, even Maya Angelou also has you know, insecurities with her writing. Can you imagine had she stopped writing, we would not have this book. We would not have all of her previous autobiographies. And so the fact that she realized that her story was worth telling is very powerful. Um, so that basically sums up what I have for this note. Please, please, please pick up this book. It is phenomenal. She is, her story and her work is so inspirational and it's really important in the the movement of you know the, the the different women that have shaped our society and she is one of these people and yes so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video